Oke. Okay. Right, assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon everyone. Uh, first, I want to thank Kak Furkon as the moderator for the warm introduction. I also want to express my gratitude to Pak Azari as the lecturer representative from Computer Science Universitas Gadjah Mada for attending the meeting, and to all my fellow intern friends uh, for being here. My name is Konang Diaga Zainirangkara, and today I'm thrilled to share with you my journey and experiences as an intern at Bukit Vista during the MSIB uh, Batch 6. As we gather here for the MSIB Batch 6 Bukit Vista Intern Celebration Day, I'm excited to take this opportunity to reflect on my time at Bukit Vista. I'll be talking about what I did as an intern, the projects I work on, the things I learned, and my personal thoughts about interning at Bukit Vista. I hope by the end of this presentation, you have a good sense of my uh, of what my internship was like. So without further ado, let's jump right in. First, let me introduce myself in a bit more detail. My name is Konang Tia Kezainangkara. I'm currently studying computer science at Universitas Gajah Mada. And during this internship, I had the pleasure of working as a UI UX designer intern at Bukit Vista. As you can see here in my photo, I spent a lot of time thinking creatively and designing solutions which was both challenging and rewarding. Uh, with that introduction out of the way, let's move on to give you an overview of what I'll be covering today. So just like the other interns who have presented their work, I'll also be taking you through a structured overview of my internship journey. Here is what I'll be covering today. Uh, first, I'll start by sharing the various projects I work on and the day-to-day -day operations I was involved in. Next, I'll talk about the valuable lessons and skills I picked up during my internship. And finally, I'll share my personal reflections and thoughts about my time at Bukit Vista. All right, now during my, in, uh, during my time as a UI UX designer intern at Bukit Vista, I had the opportunity to work on several exciting projects and get involved in the daily operations. Let's take a closer look at some of the key projects and my contributions to the team. So this is what I do, part one. Uh, during my internship at Bukit Vista, I engaged in various projects that were both challenging and rewarding. The first one is website editing. I was responsible for editing the Bukit Vista website using Elementor, a WordPress plugin. This allowed me to implement design changes without involving the web website engineer too much. The second thing the things that I did is the bigger UI design. I contributed to designing bigger, a Bukit Vista web-based product that streamlines property management workflows. My role was to create uh, user interfaces that made it easier for our team to manage properties efficiently. The third uh, thing is Bifigo Mobile UI Design. Bifigo, uh, I work on designing the mobile UI for Bifigo, which is a product that simplifies property management and empowers our partners. This project allowed me to apply mobile design principles to ensure ease of use and visual consistency. Uh, jump to the what I do part two. The next things that I did is UX research with Hotjar and Google Analytics for our GA4. So I conducted UX research using Hotjar and Google Analytics for Hotjar's recording edit maps, short user interactions, and engagement patterns, while GA4 provided comprehensive website data. This combination helps us understand user behavior and make data driven decisions to improve the user experience. The last thing that I did is idea on UX research results and user pain points. I analyze UX research results to identify user pain points and transform these insights into actionable solutions. Uh, this process involves turning user feedback into concrete improvements, ensuring our designs user, uh, met user needs effectively. So that wraps up the task I handled as a UI UX design intern. Now let's move, move on to the project showcase where I'll highlight some of the key projects I work on during my internship. In this first part, I'll be discussing the new website pages I helped create for Bukit Vista. Notice that this is uh, part one. I will present four parts of this, so roughly there will be 12 that I present, uh, which, as, uh, which are my product's new website page creation. So there are actually some other pages that I didn't mention because I think four parts are a little too much to be proud of. So the first page is the Bukit Vista reference page. Uh, this page highlights what sets us apart from other property management companies. It aims to attract new property owners and partners by showcasing our existing value proposition. The next page that I also create is the money back guarantee, which builds trust and assurance among potential partners by outlining our money back guarantee terms. 
This page is crucial for converting leads into partners by addressing common concerns and showcasing our commitment to partner satisfaction. The third page is the Pali Business Review page that serves as a resource for investors and business enthusiasts, featuring articles, interviews, and insights into Pali's business landscape. It also highlights one of our YouTube channels, enhancing our brand's credibility and visibility. Continuing with the project showcase, here, as, here are the next pages I have created for Bukit Vista. The fourth one is the Gaia page that introduces Bukit Vista's AI assistant, designed to boost hospitality efficiency and case satisfaction through automation and personalized experience. Next page will be the Atlas page that focuses on our dynamic pricing tool, which optimizes pricing strategies based on real-time market data, demand trends, and competitor analysis. The next page will be the Merlin page that showcases our program for crafting compelling stories for property listings. So continuing the project showcase, here is the part three of the new website pages that I have created. The seventh page is, is the bigger page. The bigger page uh, presents our unified platform for uh, streamlined access and management. Bigger integrates business intelligence, role specific access, and efficient operations management into one platform. The next website page is the Roundtable Talk Jogja that highlights a community program initiated by Book Vista to engage with students as potential employees. Uh, the, ninth play, uh, the ninth page is the About Our Founder page that provides insight into the journey and vision of the founder of Bukit Vista, Mr. Jing Chow Yang. It highlights his pioneering approach to hospitality and the innovative strate strategies that have shaped Bukit Vista's success. So for the last part of the new website page that I create is the Extra Service Partner page that highlights the additional services and perks that Bukit Vista offers through collaboration with esteemed partners. This page showcases uh, different services that enhance guest experience and add value to our offerings. The next page will be the Bukit Vista, uh, Bukit Vista story page that narrates the journey and growth of Bukit Vista. This page aims to build a deeper connection with our audience by sharing the company's history, achievement, and the people behind its success. The last page that I want to mention is the career planning page that provides insights into the career development opportunities at Bukit Vista. This space is crucial for attracting potential employees and showcasing Bukit Vista as a great place to work. These new pages play a vital role in showcasing Bukit Vista's comprehensive approach to enhancing user experience, sharing our story, and supporting team growth. Now, let's take a look at the various website pages I contributed to improving during my internship. So as you can see, there is a quite long list of pages here, so I won't go through each one individually. This slide showcases a comprehensive list of the website pages I work on, where I made both minor tweaks and significant improvements. The pages marked with star indicate major or impo uh, important improvements that I contributed, contributed to. Uh, if you want, feel free to screenshot this slide if you want to read the specific pages and their URLs. Please note that this list is not exhaustive. There were several other pages I work on that I didn't document, so they are not included here. Uh, this improvement span a wide range of areas, from enhancing user experience to optimizing content and functionality, all aimed at making the Bukit Vista website more effective and user-friendly. Next, let's take a look at one of the key projects I work on during my internship, the bigger UI design, specifically focusing on the property classification menu. The property classification menu allows property managers to categorize and prioritize properties based on various criteria such, such, uh, such as location, status, and performance metrics. These features help streamline management tasks and ensure efficient property oversight. Uh, then next, let's take a look at another project I work on, the Bifigo Mobile UI design featuring several new and enhanced functionalities. The first feature is the booking search feature. The booking search feature allows users to easily search for and manage bookings with the Bifigo app. This functionality improves the efficiency of finding specific bookings by applying filters and keywords making it easier for property managers to keep track of the reservation. The next feature that I also help to create is the service provider page, which is a new feature designed for our service provider partners. Uh, this page helps them manage their services more efficiently by providing tools to check revenue, list services, and monitor their service orders. The last feature that I have created on the Bifigo app is the premium Bifigo, which is a new free version of the Bifigo app. Users don't need to be our partner to use this version, but it comes with limited features. Uh, it encourages users to transition into full partners to access to the complete ranges of features. 
This enhancements do the BVGO app were aimed at improving user experience and expanding our reach to potential new partners. Continuing with our focus on UI UX improvement, let's look at how we use UX research tool to enhance our design. The first tool will be the Hoja recordings. Hoja recordings allow us to see how users interact with our website in real time. By using these recordings, we can identify user pain points and areas where users might struggle, helping us make targeted improvements. The second tool is Hoja heatmaps that provide a visual representation of where users click, move, or scroll on our page. This data helps us understand user behavior and optimize page layout to improve engagement and usability. The last tool that I also use is the Google Analytics 4 or GA4. GA4 gives us comprehensive insights into website performance and user behavior. By analyzing metrics like page views, session duration, and conversion rates, we can make data-driven decisions to enhance the user experience. Continuing with our UX research, here are examples of how we turn research in to insights into actionable improvements. On the left, you can see an example of my submissions on UX research results. This involves analyzing data from tools like Kotjar and GA4 to identify user behavior patterns, patterns and areas for improvements. On the right, you see an example of the idea execution. Based on my research findings, I identified issues and opportunities for improvement. This specific example shows a task idea that was immediately executed to enhance user experience based on the insight gathered from the research. This example is where I found that some of our articles have a very bad mobile view, so I immediately fixed it, uh, fixed each article that I found that had a bad mobile view. Finally, let's take a look at the volume of tasks I completed during my internship. Uh, this is just for fun, uh, so don't take it seriously. This is a glimpse of the tasks I completed during my internship uh, as track on Trello. It's important to note that this count only reflects the task documented on Trello. I'll I also executed uh, some additional tasks based on the UX research findings that were not listed on Trello, so the actual number of tasks completed will be a little bit higher. Now that we've covered the projects I've logged on, let's move on to the next section, which is the things I've learned during my time as a UI UX designer intern at Bukit Vista. Let's dive into the first part of the things I've learned, which is the knowledge I've gained during my internship. The first knowledge is integrating AI with design for enhanced UX. I learned how to leverage AI tools to enhance user interaction and create more intuitive design. Integrating AI can significantly improve the US user experience by making interfaces better and more responsive. The second knowledge is uh, understanding user needs and pain points. Conducting thorough user research helped me identify and address user pain points, which uh, these needs is crucial for creating designs that truly resonate with users and solve their problems effectively. The third knowledge is business and partner understanding. Aligning design solutions with business objectives and partner requirements was a, another key learning. This ensures that the designs not only look good, but also support the broader goals of the company and its partners. The last knowledge that I gain is data-driven decision making. Using data, to drive, uh, using data to drive design decisions was a significant part of my role. By analyzing user data, I could make informed decisions to improve user experience and ensure that the designs were based on real user behavior. This knowledge has been fundamental in shaping my approach to design and ensuring that my work is both user-centric and aligned with business goal. Moving on to the next part of the things I've learned, which is the hard skills. The first hard skill is the proficiency in Figma and Elementor. I have developed proficiency in using Figma for creating wireframes, prototypes, and hi-fi designs. Since our website uses WordPress, I was also required to learn Elementor, uh, the WordPress plugin. This tool allows for building responsive and visually appealing websites directly within the WordPress platform, which is crucial for efficient web design and development. Next hard skill is UI design. I've gained skills in designing visually appealing interfaces by applying pr principles of color theory, typography, and spacing, ensures that the interfaces are not only functional, but also aesthetically pleasing. Next uh, skill is the UX design. Crafting user journeys through user flows and wireframes and conducting usability testing has been a key part of my learning. I've been creating designs that provide a seamless and satisfying user experience. The last hard skill that I gain is the prototyping and usability testing. Developing interactive prototypes and conducting usability tests to gather feedback has been essential. These skills enable me to refine design based on real user insights, ensuring the final product meets user needs effectively. 
These are skills have equipped me with the technical expertise needed to create effective and user-friendly design. The next part of the things I've learned focuses on soft skills. Being an intern at Bukit Vista has helped me develop the following essential soft skills. The first one will be the problem solving. So working on various projects require creative and effective problem solving skills. I learned to tackle challenges and find innovative solutions to complex issues. The next soft skill is teamwork. Collaborating with diverse team taught me the importance of teamwork, that I learned how to work effectively with others, leveraging different perspectives and skills to achieve common goals. The next soft skill is the strategic thinking. I develop strategic thinking skills by aligning design solutions with business objectives. This involves understanding the broader goals of the company and thinking ahead to create design that support those goals. The fourth uh, soft skill is the communication. Effective communication was crucial in my role. I learned to articulate my ideas clearly, listen to feedback, and ensure that everyone involved was on the same page. This is essential for a successful project execution. The last of skill that I gain is the adaptability. The dynamic work environment at Bukit Vista required adaptability. I learned to quickly adjust to changing circumstances, new tools, and different tasks, ensuring that I could always contribute effectively. These soft skills have been invaluable in helping me navigate my internship successfully and will continue to benefit me in my future career. Next thing I've learned it is Bukit Vista's core value, and I'm grateful to say that I have embraced all of them during my internship. However, the most important core values for me are the four core values that are bigger in size at the top. The first core values that I want to mention is don't assume use data. This value taught me the importance of making decisions based on data and research rather than assumptions. It has been crucial in ensuring that my design are effective and user-centered. The next core value is the fail fast. Embracing the idea of failing fast allowed me to learn quickly from mistakes and iterate rapidly. This mindset helped me improve my skills and deliver better results in a shorter time frame. The next core value will be the be the hero. Taking initiative and stepping up to challenges was encouraged during this value. It motivated me to take ownership of my work and strive for excellence, ultimately leading to personal and professional growth. The last core value that I want to mention is the never settle. Uh, this value instilled me in the drive to continuously seek improvement and not satisfied with mediocrity. It pushed me to go beyond the basics and aim for the best possible outcomes in my project. These all core values have significantly influenced my approach to work and has been in instrumental in my development during my time at Bukit Vista. Lastly, I'd like to share some personal thoughts on my experience in turning at Bukit Vista. So I didn't write anything here because there will be so much text, so I'll be just do storytelling. I also want to thank its person individually since that is not really my style, so I will just make it at work. Awkward, but please know that I, I appreciate all of the support that I get during my internship and as Kak Rehan saying, respect. So the first one will be the reason on joining Bukit Vista. I heard about Bukit Vista from a friend, and he mentioned that the workload for intern would be instantly heavy compared to other companies. He think that most people would take out and not want to work at Bukit Vista. But I felt challenged and decided to proceed, thinking that if I could survive working at Bukit Vista, I should be able to survive working anywhere. So for the workload, uh, after entering for four and a half months, I can confirm that the workload is indeed a lot for an intern, especially while attending classes. I have experienced exhaustion, worsened health condition like a lot of other members in marketing chapter, worsened mental health and burnout countless times. But yes, I survived. Uh, for the overall experience, despite the heavy workload, it has been a very fun experience working with Bukit Vista employees, especially from the marketing chapter. I've always been skeptical about workplace being called a family because it often feels like an excuse to make employees more empathetic to the company. However, the marketing chapter felt closer than just our co-workers and just changed my perspective a bit on that. It's really felt like more than just a workplace. On the UI UX side, I felt that the UI learning part was minimal since I rarely use Figma to design things like alone prototype. However, on the UX side, I learned a lot. Listening to pattern feedback, analyzing user recordings, and using data to make decisions showed me how impactful those things for UX can be. Even though I haven't decided whether I want to continue working here or not, I want to thank everyone for this experience and this internship has been invaluable and will definitely help me help my career in the future. All right, thank you everyone for your time and attention. I'd like to extend a special thank you to all the Bukit Vista employees for making this internship such a valuable experience. If you'd like to get in touch with me, my contact information is provided at the bottom of the slide. 
thank you once again. Thank you once again and see ya. Oke, okay, Konang, thank you very much and let's give a big applause for Konang's presentation. Give your heart, thumbs up, confetti, claps, everything that uh, you wish to give Konang. It is a very amazing uh, journey, I believe. Uh, I met Konang personally several times because I ca I'm currently here in Jogja and yeah, we hang out together. Konang is such a uh, unique uh, unique person ya yeah. uh, he has a different way of thinking and yeah uh, it is it is very interesting to be able to um, get along with uh, Konang okay Konang um, now I would like to hear your uh, mentors perspective I believe we have uh, Kanadia here as your uh, mentor during the your internship period so Kanadia floor is yours Okay, uh, thank you again for the time uh, for Con and also hi everyone, it's me again. <laughs> um, yeah, um, Konang. Um, Konang, yeah, as what uh, maybe for Con also, I don't know, maybe whether you agree or not, but for me, Konang is very um, interesting um, person actually. He's very honest. <laughs> yeah, he's very like, you know, no basa basi straight to the point <laughs> so yeah it is very um interesting actually um uh, for kona so maybe um i have no much feedback for kona but i just want to say like or to express my appreciation yeah for kona for all the hard works and also your dedication that you have shown during your time with us um I believe your ability to understand uh, like a very complex idea and also like concept is very impressive. Your UI and also UX uh, design also have been like, yeah, very great asset to us as well. And also you have significantly like contributed a lot of into designing and also refining our pages at what you have shown on your project showcase before and yeah, it's not only to make them like look good, but you also make them like very functional. So it's a very good uh, Conan. So once again, thank you for all the hard work. I wish you nothing but the best for your future endeavors. So I hope to see you back with us soon. Yeah, Conan, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Back to you for Conan. Thank you very much, Kanadia, for your lovely word. Okay, so um, yeah, Konang, uh, as what uh, Kanadia said, we really wish to, to have you back, yeah. But for me personally, to see you actually coming here in, yeah, we can yeah play along together later on, yeah, with the, the rest of the Jogja team members. Okay, um, I believe we have Mr. Azhari as uh, Konang's head of study program. So, Mr. Azari, do you have any comments that you would like to give okay. to? Okay, thank you, uh, Mas Purkon, right? <laughs> yes, correct, Mr. Azari. Okay, thank you for others, uh, member of Bukit Vista, Mas PDSQ, and all others, especially for Mr. Jin. Mr. Jin, there is not here, right? No problem. Mr. Jin, yeah, Mr. Jin is not here. Uh, he has an internal urgency. Okay, great. Uh, so one more, uh, thank you very much for all uh, team members of Bukit Vista yeah, has been uh, gives uh, more experience to my students, uh, Ms. Uh, Ms. Korang, everything about management, about business process, and also about the technology to develop uh, Bukit Vista system, especially on UI UX. I see here the report is very good. Uh, I'm I'm very liked uh, to see the new the new model. Yeah, the new uh, visual of the Bukit Pista could be modern. It could be new technology. Uh, once my uh, suggestion for this uh, UI app is uh, don't forget to develop dynamics. Yeah, dynamics means uh, there is not statics. Uh, every time we can go to this UI UX, the result, the display, it could be give us uh, users more interesting with others, uh, others visual, maybe others 
image, others. How to do that? It could be using AI, for example, or it's using more feature again, right? <laughs> that is. Okay, that is from it. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Azari, for your uh, comments to Kornang. And thank you very much for uh, coming uh, and sparing your time to meet with us. And uh, Mr. Azari, if you wish to uh, stay, you are very much welcome yes. to, to stay. Yeah, because we actually have another student coming from UGM to present as well. Okay, thank you. See you. See you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Azari. And yeah. let's one once again give a big applause to uh, Kornang.